Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Michael Levan. Thank you so much for joining me today. And what we're gonna be talking about is how to use the free Postman application to make API calls. So I have a Python based Flask API that I'll be showing you and everything so you can kind of see what's happening and what's going on in the application. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that application that's gonna be running locally and we're gonna make some get requests and some API calls to the application so we can kind of see how Postman actually works. Now, if you haven't already used Postman, it's a very straightforward and free way to make API tests for pretty much any application that you wanna use. It's really, really cool. I'm happy that you're here. So let's go ahead, jump in and check out the code and Postman. Okay, so we have the application here and this is gonna be a very straightforward application. We're importing the Flask SDK. We're gonna be executing with the app variable for Flask. We have this route here and essentially what this route is, it's a get request and it's gonna be going to slash pups. So slash pups, you're gonna see it's just this picture of these uh, golden, I think, Labradors. And then, so we have a function here and then that function is going to render the index.html. So that index.html is where the web page lives. So what we're gonna do is once we run this locally, we're gonna be able to see that web page up and running. And then finally, I'm gonna be using if name equals main to ensure that you know this application is running standalone, it's not being imported. And then I'm gonna be using the run function there on line 12 from the app variable. So let me just go ahead and I'm gonna run this application. All right. So we can see here this application is running. Let's head over to the web browser really quick and we'll see this thing actually running. All right, so I'm here at this web page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to 127.001. It's going to be listening on port 5000. Then I'm just going to do slash pups. We can see here, this is a bunch of cute little puppies here, and it says enjoy this awesome pic. So this is the application that we want to target using Postman. So while the application is still running locally on your computer, let's go ahead and open up Postman really quick. So Postman's open and the first thing that you're gonna do is, well, first you're gonna of course install it if you don't have it installed and then you can just you know sign into it with a free account or you could just continue without actually signing in. So the first thing that we're gonna see here is a collection. So these collections essentially allow you to group related requests. So if you have like a bunch of get requests on a specific application or if you wanna bundle everything within that application, so like get requests, post requests, all that stuff, you can do that in a collection. So let's go ahead and create a new collection. And then what I'm gonna do is, we have this new collection here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna rename this collection. I'm gonna say Flask Pups, all right? And then we can see the collection is empty, add a request to start working. So I'm gonna click on add a request, and right off the bat here, you're gonna see that it's a new get request, but what we could do is, we could change this if we wanted to. So if you had you know, a post, a put, delete, copy, et cetera, you absolutely can change that in here. And you can also change the name. So if I go down here and I click on rename, I could say get pups page, okay? Then I'm just gonna go ahead and look at these keys here. So if I had any parameters that I wanted to add in, for example, auth, headers, anything like that, like any type of authentication, I could absolutely do that. But since this is a get request, we don't really need uh, any type of authentication. I mean, sometimes with a get request, you do need authentication, but in this case, we don't. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna type in the URL. So we're gonna say 127.001, all right, over port 5000. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you what it'll look like if it'll fail, for example, because we don't have any page at the root. So let's say I click on send here. As you can see, you get a 404 not found. You can see the raw data as well. You can check out a preview. So this is actually, this is really cool. This is what's gonna come up on the UI if you try to type in just, you know, 127001 over port 5000 on the web browser, you'll just see this, like it's just not found. So you're gonna get a 404. Okay, so we see here we get a 404, the requested URL was not found. So what happens if we do slash pups and then we send it, okay? So now we actually get that HTML page back. You know, the title, Mike's web app, and then I have the puppy picture here and then it says enjoy this awesome pic. You can see the raw data if you want to. 
and then you can see the preview. So right here, the image isn't popping up, but you can see the preview of what this is actually going to look like. And then what you can do is you can save this if you wanted to. So now you have this get request constantly in here. This is always going to be saved. And you also get some more information in the body here. So for example, you could check out any cookies. You could check out any headers. So we see the headers here. We can go back to the body. We can even see some test results if we had some tests. So the big important thing too is you get this information back the milliseconds and then if it's okay. So a standard okay is a 200 for an API. And then, you know, going back to the MS here, you can also see some different speed and information here as well, which is really great. So with that, that's how you can get started using Postman for a Flask app or really any other type of app. Thank you so much for watching.